So we're going to go over digestion. There are some PowerPoint slides previously, but I think this is a little bit more in-depth of a way to go over it. So I encourage you to watch this fully. So we can see basically from beginning to end, from esophagus to rectum of the honeybee and a couple of spots in between. So let's go over them. Right here is just another view of a dissected bee. You can see here the crop and the ventriculus and aphasian tubes compared to here, but you can see that they're different. You can just see it in a different uh, cut. So we have the mid gut and the hind gut. You can see here there's the uh, proventriculus, the ventriculus, the small intestines is the mid gut, and the hind gut is the anus and the rectum. We'll start off here with the esophagus. Much like your esophagus, it starts at your mouth. But much unlike your esophagus, it goes through your brain. So your esophagus has a lot of muscles. Because if you think about all the different kinds of food we eat, and although, although we should chew better than we probably do, you chew it up and make a little ball, which is called a bolus, and it goes down. It starts to move down, you know, you have scratchy pretzels in there and all that kind of stuff. So it goes down. Where bees, pretty much you know what they eat is honey, the nectar, and pollen. So that doesn't really require a lot of muscles, not like you have. So the big thing to know is the difference between the honey crop and the true stomach. So the honey crop, bees will go out and forage and they'll look around and they'll store the honey, they'll store the nectar in the crop or the honey stomach. All kinds of insects have different crops. And as we move through these lectures, last couple lectures I'm going to talk to you about, other crops and other insects. Bees expand and contract much like your stomach to allow there to be uh, more room. thing I also want you to know is that that bees go through a process called trophallaxis where they puke into each other's mouths instead of stomidial trans, uh, stomidial digestion or movement which is mouth to mouth or proctodial, which is anus to mouth. So they have trophallaxis, where they actually just puke up in each other's stomach, in each other. Um, again, it's that transparent sac, which you saw before. There's muscles around the crop, because there's no point in storing it in the crop and allowing it then to slide into the true stomach, because there's no, there's no point. And the other thing is, I think this is sort of an interesting fact, one pound of nectar represents 12,000 to 24,000 trips, but that's not one pound of honey. In a bee's life, it can hope to make a twelfth of a teaspoon of honey. So the proventriculus uh, separates the crop and the true stomach. If you've had other, if you're a science person, you've had another a lot of sciences before. To me, this looks like heart valves. So we're very similar to what heart valves look like in a human heart. They open and close, and they have four. Our heart valves look slightly different. And there's little ropes that are muscles that control this opening and going through. And I told you, basically, it's this four lips that open and close and only allow it to go one way and not back, similar to esophageal reflux. If it went back, it would be bad in the bees. It would be bad in you. They don't make little itty-bitty tums. And there's these little hairs on it that catch all the um, pollen pieces that are too big and that could be dangerous. So this is the true, uh, the true stomach or the ventriculus. Sometimes it's also called the midgut. It's the true stomach. And there's some interesting slides here. It's actually sort of interesting. It looks very similar to what your stomach looks like in shape. And it's coiled around the abdomen. It's about twice the length of the bee body. It has regenerative cells and endocrine cells, and the shape of the cell is pleomorphic columnar cells. Again, if you've had anatomy physiology for humans, it's actually the same in yours and mine. Next, we go to the malphasian tubules. Uh, nitrogen is absorbed in the blood and passed the ileum for secretion. Bees have about 100 malphasian tubules, and they're named after Dr. Malphagy, as well as a protozoan that could make you really sick. So this is the ileum, which is the intestine. It works, again, very similar to your intestines. It, it passes uh, 
Pollen husks are fat cells or dead cells, and it's passed from the ileum to the rectum. The rectum can hold large quantities, similar to yours, and bees can have to hold their poop all winter long. And when the winter uh, changes and when it gets warm out, bees will actually take those cleansing flights to poop because they don't poop in the hive. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video.